Guys, I I have a confession I need to make. I, as it turns out, I'm terrible at this video game. Now, I know that might come as a shock to anyone who's seen me do Inferno or has seen me do a raid, but after starting an account that would lose a large amount of its appeal if I died, I decided to start taking a look at things, and as it turns out, yeah, I suck at this game. And in order to not lose that account, I decided to sit down and just fucking get good. So I didn't want to just constantly run content until I had a high KC, I wanted to do something that I considered a little bit more skill based. And luckily for me, nine months ago, Dragix announced a piece of content that is finally coming to the game soon, which is combat achievements. Unfortunately, as of the time of recording this, they haven't released combat achievements, but they have released one thing that they said will be retroactive, which is speedrunning Corrupted Gauntlet. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for the Grandmaster Corrupted Gauntlet time, which is finishing the Corrupted Gauntlet successfully in six minutes and 30 seconds. Now, before we get into the absolute train wreck that was my mental state over the course of the few days that I went for this, I want to let you know that I'm not going to go over any specifics on how to optimize pathing because I'm going to handle that in a separate video. I didn't really find any content out there that really focused on optimizing Corrupted Gauntlet for a speed run, and there were some tips I picked up, and I will go over those in a much shorter video in just a few days. So if you're looking for that, just hold on. I will get to that in the future, but for now, just enjoy watching the mental breakdown of a man who probably should never have started playing this game again. Okay, so getting into it, just so you guys know where I'm starting from, I have 335 KC, my current PB is 744, so got over a minute to shave off, which is definitely not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of RNG involved, specifically in getting the correct prep time, um, but we're going to go for it. I will be completing dead runs just because I'm a broke bitch, and I don't have enough money for a T-Bow, and I'd really like the new Bofa Bow, and I need Crystal Shards for that, so kind of hitting two birds with one stone here. So this might take me longer than normal, but it's primarily because I'm completing or attempting to complete every single run. So if I run into a situation where I just don't beat the prep time in time, I'm just going to take it slow, finish my prep, and then do Hunlift. But that's it. I'm done explaining. Let's just head into the gauntlet and start hating our lives. For those of you who don't know, Corrupted Gauntlet is a mini game where you start with almost nothing and have to gather your own resources in order to craft the gear for the final boss. For main accounts, you kind of get the feeling of playing an Iron Man for a few minutes, just without the overinflated ego that comes along with the grey helmet next to your name, and you're really just left with a crippling sense of low self-worth and a hole in your heart that can only be filled with crystal shards. It just might be a me thing. Anyway, day number one started off pretty well. I mean, the only areas that I was really having an issue was, well you know, like the prep time and then the Hunla fight, basically all of it. Uh, but I didn't really have super high hopes for the first day anyway. I really just wanted to spend some time feeling things out. My main goal was to start optimizing my pathing and just getting more comfortable with consistently just going fast in general. I mean, originally I was bringing 16 fish and two tier three weapons into a Hunla fight. And as I found out later that that shit wouldn't fly. Uh, despite this, I was able to snag a few decent times. That was a really sloppy hunt lift. We got a super PB, and I'm actually very pissed because that was probably the 630 time. I'm not used to 5 to one ing by punching. I usually just make a weapon to make it easy, uh, and it just always fucked me up. I, I have F4 as my keybind for this, and I just kept mispraying, misclicking the prayer button, the prayer tab. Oh, I'm so pissed. I also fucked up Vengeance at the beginning of the kill, and I was praying and hit a 1 with Vengeance. I mean, 717 is not a bad time. I mean, second try, I'm trying to go fast, 717, not too bad, but oh, I'm so pissed. Oh, that's tilting. And although I was disappointed with that run, I was still having a good time. Uh, just kidding. Hunliff is trash, this place is trash, and as I realized when I stopped bringing almost an entire inventory of food to Hunliff, I am trash. But I didn't let my inability to play a game that I've spent thousands of hours playing get me down. Well, okay, I did let it get me down, but it didn't stop me from continuously beating my head against the wall, or more accurately, the floor of the Hunlip room, and I continued to do run after run. Unfortunately, I didn't make too much more progress on this first day, so I decided to call it a day with the 717 personal best, and I spent the rest of the day just reviewing my footage so I could find out where I could optimize and just kind of start cleaning up these runs. All right, it's day number two. I've gotten some rest, taken my weekly shower, and I'm ready to do some Corrupted Gauntlet today. I looked back at my runs from yesterday, and there were a few things that I picked up on that I kind of want to optimize a little bit. 
One thing is just my pathing. I found myself really killing too many tier one monsters after getting the weapon frame. So that's something I'm going to focus on not doing. They're just not worth killing for the shards. Even if I'm like gathering some resources, it's just not worth it. So killing tier one monsters just for the weapon frame, going back to make the weapon and then completely ignoring tier one monsters. Uh, one other thing I want to do is stop using redemption. I found myself running out of prayer, weirdly enough, with two potions and Yes, I might just be killing Hunlef a little slow, but for now I'm going to slow down or not use Redemption for healing. Just focus on Fish for healing until at least my kills are a little bit faster. With only bringing two potions, I really wasn't getting a lot of value out of Redemption anyway. Um, third thing I want to try is actually using a tier 3 staff. If I only find a dragon in my first three demi rooms, trying to go in with a tier 1 bow and a tier 3 staff and see if that affects times at all. Technically, the DPS is similar. I know the bow is better because it has a higher max hit, so if you have good RNG, it kills faster but the average dps is pretty much the same and i'm going for consistency not necessarily relying on rng so i'm going to give the bow or give the staff a few tries so day two was off to well in retrospect it was off to a, a start at the very least uh, but not too far into the day we had this run <laughs> uh, I'm never happy with my PBs. That was a new PB by five seconds, but this is my first run of the day. My hands are still like cold, not warmed up. And uh, oh, that was so sad. That was such a good prep time. 311 and I had a four minute hun lift. I had like sub three minute hun lifts yesterday and I just, I couldn't pull it together. That was the run. I said that last PB, but this PB, oh, that's so tilting. Now, it was around this time that I really realized that Hunlift was where I was getting caught up. My Hunlift times were really slow, and I didn't really notice this while running CG during day number two. But looking back, and as I rewatched the footage later in the day, I found that I was really just taking a lot of time dodging tornadoes. I was losing a lot of attacks. I was taking a lot of unnecessary damage, and damage that really isn't super relevant outside of going fast. Missing one prayer and taking a 30, ah, that's not a big deal when you have 16 paddlefish in your inventory, but when you start taking fewer fish, only 12 or 10, that's one and a half paddlefish. So normally I would just kind of shrug off that mistake. And so normally I would be fine. I'd still be able to complete a run while missing one prayer or getting trampled. But here it was costing me not only time with eating the food, but it was also causing me to just die because I just didn't have food to cover these mistakes. As I brought less and less food to the Hunlift fight, I really just had enough for the average damage output and not anything more. So when I took an extra 30, 40 damage, that's an extra two paddlefish that I just couldn't afford losing. And I started to realize this as I did more and more runs throughout the day. Now I'm making this sound positive, but trust me, I did not have a good time on day number two. I died a lot. Fuck. I'm playing like dog shit right now. That being said, it wasn't all bad. I was starting to see some improvement in my play. My prep times were much more consistently where I wanted them, closer to the three minute, 10 second mark. I wasn't losing as much time in the preps, just getting a little bit more comfortable going fast. And even though I was dying a lot on Hunlift, I was at least more consistently seeing where my mistakes were. I wasn't fixing those mistakes, but I didn't have that cushion of food to fall back on, so it was easier to point out my own mistakes in my own play, and that eventually and gradually helped me get farther and farther in the fights. But as the day went on, I wasn't getting any dopamine from seeing a new personal best, so after a few hours, I decided to just call it there for day number two. Day three, everyone, give it up for day three, and let's look at the absolute travesty that is my log for the Corrupted Gauntlet. Yesterday was not good. Uh, we had a really bad day for CG. I think I risked it a little bit too much, and I think today I'm going to change things slightly. I have a set of requirements that I want to meet in order to actually go for the speedrun because I still do need the shards and we're gonna play things a little bit safer. So as it turns out, that was a bold-faced lie. Very early in today, we had this run. For sub seven? Stop, the timer doesn't stop when he dies. Oh, that's 701, isn't it? That's fucking, oh, 659 for sub seven. All right, 
And after seeing that first sub 7, I had no desire to do anything but go as fast as I could. I gave up on trying to complete runs just for the sake of getting shards and focused primarily on just doing fast runs. If I was doing a prep and I didn't think I was on pace or I didn't have a good enough layout, I would just leave it so I could get as many attempts in as possible. I just felt that I was so close. I was under seven minutes and the end was in reach. This was both the height of my corrupted gauntlet addiction and the absolute rock bottom of my mental state during this grind. I was trying to focus as much as possible just doing run after run, but unfortunately I didn't really make too much more progress. Again, this is a common theme for me. I'd make really good progress towards the beginning of the day and as the day progressed and I was doing more and more runs, I would just, I'd play sloppy. I'd miss a prayer on Hunliff. I'd accidentally walk into a yellow tile just because I wasn't thinking and I decided that I learned a lot on day number three. I learned some really good pathing techniques. I was really able to get really good consistent paces, but I just wasn't able to get there. So I wasn't playing well, decided to just call it day number three and hopefully just put everything together for day number four. So Sunday I woke up, it was day number four and I was ready to fucking game. I didn't even record an intro, we just got right into the gauntlet and I was fucking killing it. The paces I was on was easily sub 630. Yes, I didn't actually complete any of these paces, but I was getting there and the end was in sight. Now, my friends weren't necessarily helping while I was doing this. Dude, I'm also using, <clears throat> I'm also using fucking uh, Onyx tipped bolts enchanted uh, to wake the Kraken. That's another- <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You, just, you, you just hurt Joseph right there. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I lost count because of that, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, I hate you. I actually hate you. <laughs> this might have been the one. <laughs> what do you mean? 100 HP. Some six Yeah. Oh, I just died because of it. It was sub 100 <laughs> HP, it was 615, and you see I'm using Onyx bolt tips on the crack and tentacles. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, free range XP, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm fucking crying over here. Uh. But despite the distractions, we were making good times and I felt like I was actually improving. I felt like I was getting way more consistent and if I cleaned up one or two more things on a hunt in the fight and stopped dying when I was actually getting good RNG, I had the PB and I was feeling pretty motivated at this point and then we had the run. This was a run from the gods. Every room was exactly perfect. We got the shards we needed and we entered the Hunla fight in under three minutes. This was the fastest prep time I think I had during the entire time. All we needed was just an average Hunla. Three minute, 33 second Hunla, easy. Now you might be wondering why there's still a few minutes of a video left. Well, eh, just watch. No, no, son of a bitch. Now as physically painful as that was, I at this point was just too far gone, too brain damaged to stop doing Corrupted Gauntlet. So we just went right back into it and actually got another personal best at 641 in the next run. So it was pretty demotivating and heartbreaking, but things weren't all bad. And I started getting way more strict with what runs I actually completed. If the prep wasn't looking absolutely god tier, I just left. I wanted to give myself the most chances to get good RNG that I could because I was honestly sick of doing this. I was sick of dying and I was sick of just doing Corrupted Gauntlet just in general. So we continued on getting some really good runs, some really good paces, but still nothing under the coveted 6 minute and 30 second timer. Like I said before, I was too far gone at this point and I'd already seen the 630 basically on my screen so there was just no stopping. So we just did run after run after run and finally after probably at this point hundreds of attempts we got into a gauntlet that didn't have a great prep time, but the Hunliff was going really well. We had good hits, we weren't taking too much damage, and the time was looking great going into Hunliff's enrage phase.
Please, 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 please. Fucking finally, dude. 627. I've never been so happy to see the number 27 in my life. Oh my god. So finally, after 47 completions, 73 deaths, that's actually true, and countless runs that I just left, we had done it. We got the 6 minutes 30 seconds time, and I swear to god, if this isn't retroactive, I'm going to be pissed.